in this video we'll be seeing how to implement web view in android and we'll be seeing how to handle downloads and how to open whatsapp link telephone numbers emails etc from web view to the respective apps so first of all you have to go to the activity main xml file go to the layouts and you can see the file go to the split mode and we have to add a web view so you can change the parent layout to related layout now you can add a web view so remove this text view and add a web view we can give an id for the web view now you can give a progress bar in order to show the progress for the loading you can set the progress bar to align on the center Let's give an ID for the progress bar. Now that's it. We are done with the layout part. Let's open the main activity Java file. And here we have to create an object for web view and the progress bar. Now we can initialize them. Now we have initialized the web view and the progress bar to the respective IDs. We can see we are using the correct ID. You can see there's an error here. You can simply ignore that. It will go away when you run the app. After this, we have to configure the web view. Now you can see a warning here. So click here and type all tender and you can choose the first option that's all okay now we have set the javascript for the web view and we have set the scroll bar style and also set the images to load automatically now we can load the url Okay, now we are loading the URL here. You can change this URL to the ones that you need. After that, we have to set the web view client. So for that type web view dot set web view client. Inside that we have to create new web view client. Now open this and inside this we are having on page start, on page finish and should override URL loading. So we'll be using on page finish and should override UR loading. So let's type on page finish. You can see the suggestion. Now inside this function, you have to set the visibility of the progress bar to gone. Okay, now that's all with the on page finished. Now you can call the should override URL loading. Inside this, we'll be setting the visibility for the progress bar to visible. You can remove this return statement from here. Then we have to add an if statement to handle if the URL contains WhatsApp, email, telephone number, etc. So we have to create an indent to call the respective views. So create an if condition and we have to check if the URL so we are not getting the URL here. So you have to change this to string and URL. That's it. Okay, that's all. Okay, that's all. You have to change this to string URL. Okay. Now we'll get the URL here. Starts with. Now we are checking if the URL starts with. And here we can specify how the URL starts. So let's type TEL colon. Now this is how the link for opening the dialer, that is the phone dialer, will look like. Uh, we usually have TEL and followed by the phone number. So we will be checking if the URL starts with TEL. And also we can check if the URL starts with WhatsApp, mail, etc.
okay now we are checking if the url starts with tel whatsapp and also mail we can add as many as you want so we'll be checking these three now inside this we will be calling the intent now we have created an object for the intent and we are creating it for action view then you have to intent dot set data inside that we have to pass the uri dot parse and we'll be passing the url that's all and we have to start the activity start activity pass the indent that's all now this will handle the telephone whatsapp and mail etc now after this if condition we have to type the else part else we can load the url so for that view dot load url and we can pass the url that's all okay now we can see an error here so we have to return true okay that's all now we are done with the should override url loading now after this we have to handle the downloading for web view so if you are trying to download something from web view you have to implement the download listener for web view so you have to go outside the set web view client and we have to set a download listener web view dot set download listener and we have to create a new download listener new download listener okay now inside that we are having a function on download start now inside this we'll be implementing our downloading so for that you can go to an article we can see this article i will give the link for this in the description and you can scroll down and here at the bottom you can see the complete source code and you can simply copy this much so we can save the time of typing this i have to copy this much and go to the app we can paste it here okay now we can see many errors let's import the classes so click here and type alt enter okay import the class now here you can see that we are having different variable names so go back to the article and you can copy these variable names from here this much copy this much from the own download start function you can simply copy this function this much okay this much and you can paste that so right now we are copying this much and you can simply replace these that's all hope you can see them okay that's all we simply replace the variable names now the errors have gone that's all that was the error we are we were having different names for the variables that's why okay now our download manager is set you can see that we are calling the download manager and we are setting the title for the download manager now this is the title that will be shown when we are trying to download and this is the description we are setting the notification and yes you can see we are handling the download here we are passing where to save the files we are saving it to downloads folder and here we can see we are making a toast saying that downloading has started okay now here we are registering it to a broadcast receiver and inside this we are saying the toast that the downloading is completed okay that's all now you can see an error here okay let's check what the error is okay we are having one curly braces extra so simply remove one okay that's all now we are done with the download manager part of the web view now you can implement own back press for the web view so when we try to click back you can go back to the previous page and not close the app 
so if you don't implement this the app will close when you click the back button okay so for that you can go outside the on create function that is this one you can see this one see okay let's go outside the on create and type on back pressed you can see public void on back pressed so you can select this okay now here you can add an if condition if web view dot can go back okay now this will check if the web view can go back and if the web view has a page to go back to we can do web view dot go back and if the web view doesn't have any you can simply add an else part and you can call super on back pressed that's all let's format the code type control alt l that's all yes we have completely done the implementation part of the web view and we have to add the permission to access internet so go to the manifest and here we have to add users permission internet okay you can also add the permission to write to external storage uh, recently we don't have to add that but if you are having an older version or if you are facing any error with the permissions you can simply add the permission users permission write external storage you can see it's in yellow that's because we don't have to add it for the android versions above 10 okay that's all you can simply ignore that for now if you are having an http url instead of https you have to add use clear text traffic and set it to true now this will enable http url to work otherwise it will not allow http url you have to use https okay now that's all now you can try adding the hardware accelerated to true okay now you can try running the app now we are done with the implementation part so let's try running it you can see the app has opened and you can see the progress bar and the web view has opened you can see the website opened let's try clicking on download now you can see the next page is opening and we are having the loading progress okay now we can try if the download manager is working or not for that we have to add another url so let's minimize the emulator for now and here we'll be changing the url so here you can see that i have given a url for an apk file so this is a simple demo apk file so we'll be trying to run this and it will start downloading when the app opens so let's try running it now you can see the app has opened and you can see the downloading has started and also you can see the downloading has been completed now let's go to the top scroll from the top and you can see the download manager you can see the title and you can see the download completed message okay now hope you understand so our download manager is also working now we can see that the progress bar is still loading so in order to stop the progress bar you can go to the on receiver here inside the broadcast receiver come here above the toast you can set the progress bar visibility to gone okay that's all now this will stop the progress bar now that's all with the implementation hope you understand how to implement web view and download manager for the web view if you like to download the full source code you can go to this website you can see the url here youtube.codecc.com slash downloads you can see all the source codes here so we are uploading all the source code of all the videos here and we are also having some projects so you can download that from here if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos